Well, you've seen the mess that was Burning Man 2023. Intense rain flooded the normally dry lake bed the festival calls home in Nevada, trapping thousands of people in the mud. Among the thousands was a Minnesotan who says this was his favorite festival he's ever been to. Morgan Wolf caught up with him tonight after he made it home safe. So you were one of the 70,000 people that were trapped in the desert. I was, yeah. It was, uh, it was incredible. It was actually the best burn ever. I've had three of them so far. Jeff Rada is very familiar with Burning Man, but if you aren't, it's usually a nine day EDM music festival filled with free spirits who love art and culture. It happens in the Nevada desert. A lot of the folks like Diplo will play at four in the morning. Usually people get covered in glitter and dust, but this year mud was the main accessory. Uh, halfway through, I realized uh, for one thing to be an equal and opposite has to exist. So for us to be able to enjoy all these fun burns and all this other stuff, we have to have some crazy ones sometimes. And so, yeah, I just said, screw it, this is Burning Man, I got to embrace it. Torrential rain led to the festival telling people to shelter in place. No use of bikes or cars was advised until Monday afternoon. So, an optimist so and an experienced so-called burner had one that. letdown. I was actually disappointed that folks weren't, you know, throwing more parties in their camp and that people weren't. Uh, having more fun with it. Even after he had his boots stolen and had to walk an hour in the mud, no complaints. I'm just really curious, what state were those white tennis shoes in when you left? <laughs> uh, they actually weren't that bad. As for this drone shot of the cars that you saw leaving the festival, Jeff says that traffic always happens. The traffic actually wasn't as bad this year. But after staying up for 36 hours straight, including an 18-hour trek home to Scottsdale, the experience wasn't just muddy, it was very memorable. <laughs> It was still an awesome experience. I thought we would have danced a little bit more in the rain, um, but I think that's the only thing that I thought was the negative that came to mind. Jeff says that people at the festival were all about helping each other, sharing food, water, and places to, to stay. And in total, 72,000 attendees. But if I were sleeping in a wet tent with a lot of mud, I don't know if I would have had as good of a, you know, optimistic outlook as Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you, Morgan.